Yeah, YouTube. I don't think I've ever done a desk tour or like a YouTube office like tour since I moved into this new house. So today that's what we're doing. I'm just gonna give, I'm gonna turn the camera around. And I'm just gonna show you everything here in my office and why I have it and what I use what for and show you my desk and the stuff on my desk and just let you see or get a tour of my whole little workspace. <music> Here we go, we're gonna do a full 360 of the room. Whoa, up and down, just so you can catch a vibe what's going on in here. This right here is the first part we're gonna be talking about. This is the part where I shoot and kind of do overhead shots and just throw a bunch of stuff on this desk. Right now it's clean, thank you, because I had to clean up the room for this whole video. Let's jump right into it. So I got a tripod right here where I keep a camera to shoot my main angle for YouTube videos when I'm doing any type of review or talking. And this is the background. You have it focused with a little bokeh back there so that those lights look really cool. We'll talk about those after this. We got the small HD 701 or 703 Indy. I can't remember, but everything will be linked down below so you can see exactly what I have here. Keep my camera on there with a semi wide angle. Then I got like a boom with this microphone to get good audio for this shot. I got this desk right here, very simple little white Ikea desk with black legs just to do like overhead shots or put right here in front of me when I'm doing a YouTube video or sometimes I don't have it here, it's just here today. This is always moving. Then we got an Ikea bar stool right here. It's just easy, a little comfortable seat right there for when I'm doing my videos. I can move it, it's very easy to move. Yeah. The light that I use is the 120D Mark II with the, not the big dome and not the mini dome, the middle one, it's the SE. And it's sitting on a nice heavy duty stand that has wheels that I can roll around this room or to get shots here or here or in the middle if I wanna do overhead stuff. So it's a very portable light. I can move it around, love it. It's not too big but it's not too small. It works great in here. Here, this is my book with ideas and notes, journaling and all types of cool stuff. I keep it either here or there on my actual desk. It moves around a lot because I'm always using it and keeping it with me. These are some black curtains that I bought to black out the window if I need to, just to keep it dark in here and I wanna control the light. But right now we're using a little bit of the daylight that is remaining. These black curtains, they just kind of make it look cool as well. So yeah, um, right here we had panels on the wall for a charging station, which I got previously from Becky and Chris's channel. But I actually took that down because I kind of got over it and um, I need to patch these holes and paint over it. it just looks bad you can't really see it here but it's there that kind of freed up this whole corner to have this rolly wheel and just feels less crammed over here in this um area and then i got some pictures over here very special picture from my son ace on father's day back in 2019 he made this really dope and then a picture of me and him at his mommy's event and that looks really good right there framed yeah i had to put it up it looks good making our way to the next spot is this black couch i got it from walmart it just looks sleek it's kind of like a fake leather a fleather <laughs> couch but it just looks cool i got this black shelving unit which locks into the wall really good from ikea then i just got some stuff up top of here my 100k plaque this came from target little plant action i usually take the greens out of my pictures and videos so <laughs> This turns into like black plants, which kind of fits the monochromatic theme that is in this office. Now it's heavy duty enough to stand. Got me a nice candle. This is the best candle you will ever get. So make sure you go check it out. Bath and Body Works. I also got this um, Instax Mini 70 Polaroid camera from Soundstripe that they gave to me a while ago. Keep that up here. Keep my little spinner um, for my anxiety. <laughs> Obviously 100K. I got my iMac mouse up here cause I don't really use that mouse. And then I got this right here, some Cushly CBD toothpicks and obviously a nice orange bick when I need to light this. I need to dust up here. This is one of those stringy lights from Ikea with a nice cool fixture bulb in there. It looks really cool when you um, start it up. Boom. And we crack that on. It looks really cool. It looks good as a practical in the background sometimes. 
Majority of the time, I just keep it off though. All right, we're moving over here. This little tree, nice cool little aesthetic. It kind of moves all around. I got it from my homie YC Imogen when he moved from Atlanta back to Virginia. It just kind of makes its way around the room sometimes in back of videos and you know, whatever. It looks cool. It's here. It's kind of dusty. <laughs> okay, back to this wall right here. Um, at the top here, we got the creative logo. This is half of my creative Ryan logo, and I got it done by Yellow Pop. Yellow Pop is a neon sign company. They make custom neon signs, so if you want to check them out, there will obviously be a link below. Mine looks really good. It just adds a vibe in here. Then you got this um, kind of like L or beam light from LifeX, and you could do all types of designs, but over the past few years, I've just had it over top of my doorways in different apartments and places and offices that I've been at. And it just adds a cool vibe. You can make it blue, you can make it red, you can make it all types of funky colors. You can do whatever you want with it. It looks good in the background. I got those cords coming down and like Velcroed down on the side of the wall just to keep it real nice and organized if you're looking for a way to do your cords, that's the way to go. Velcro and zip ties. Okay, over here is kind of like my gear closet, which is kind of empty because I've moved my gear around and I shoot in different parts of my house. Have like a studio set up down underneath me. I got backdrops, lights and all that stuff in another spot. Here, I got some lights up here. I got my drone hanging. I got these clamps right here where I got these things hanging up like that. My YouTube black box, gotta keep that. Got this hanging in a waterproof bag, lighting, just a bunch of accessories in here. Camera bag, my Aperture Nova, bunch of stuff, bunch of uh, film pictures. I need to do something with those and make some type of like picture board. But this is kind of like a gear closet storage area. And I keep stuff in there. All right, so if we come over here, I got another heavy duty stand with wheels on it. And I have one of my new lights. It's the F21X from Amaran. It's a flex light. It's got the grid on it. It's really lightweight, nice. I got it on there because I've been using it to kind of like uh, boom over me for hair lights. I just got it chilling right here because it kind of looks cool right there. So well, we'll talk about that in another video. Over here on the main wall is where I'm always at editing. Um, right now, the wall is kind of empty. We're going through some changes. I'm definitely changing up some stuff around here. I might take this and put it there. Take these pictures, line them up here and um, maybe bring the grass wall back in here, like at my old place. Yo, the office is always changing. So this video isn't sponsored, but the people that I wanna highlight in this video, especially is Vori. They sent me this amazing black matte desk and I love it. It's a standing desk, very heavy duty. So if you come right here, you can basically set up different heights with the customizable up and down arrows, and then you can set it to different numbers so it automatically goes to the place that you want it to go to for when you want to stand up at the desk as you can see it's rising it goes to the perfect stand for me so this desk is really nice i love it um shout out to vori go give them a follow on instagram go check them out if you want to get a desk like this if you see one i'm offering 15 percent off their desks and accessories all that good stuff there will be a link down here so go check that out if you're interested in a nice desk like this. Okay, so this is my chair. It's super soft. I totally forgot the name of it, but there's obviously a link down below. It's really, really nice. Okay, now I'm dizzy, but it's really, really nice and comfortable. Um, it feels good on my back. My back does hurt sometimes from sitting and editing, so this has been really comfortable adjustable everything's adjustable you can lean all the way back super nice my favorite nice heavy duty but still not too heavy to move around here we are the desk and this is like a uh, iconic light that everybody always asks me about this is my peace sign with the white neon vibe going on i got it from urban outfitters in the living area like apartments area i've had this for so long i doubt that they even still sell it but i've kept it for years i've had it. it's been like a staple in my youtube videos yeah that's where i got it from urban outfitters so go check them out here we got my mic that i use for like voiceovers and stuff it's the blue yeti black out version and then i got this like fluffy thing that i put over top of it i ordered that separately links are below if you want to check those out i have the imac m1 24 inch it's kind of new i guess it came out last year or the top of this year and then on top i have this cool um light bar which is really cool and you can customize it use it like brighter lower you can change it to like tungsten or daylight or all white really cool light for real i love that you just push it and it'll cut off 
you just push it again and it'll cut back on. It just looks cool and it lights up my keyboard and all this stuff. I also got this accessory from Vori. Shout out to Vori again. Right here, we got this um, little Air Force One. This is my son's first shoe and that's why it's here. I have a lot of people have asked in the comments, what's that shoe doing right there? There've been times where I got kind of annoyed with people just calling it some little shoe, like it doesn't have any importance. But now that you are here, you know, that's my son's first shoe ever, and I kept the left one, and his mom has the right one. I hope she still has it. This right here is my aperture light control, just for easy convenience and access to that. I keep it right here in front of me. Cheap little mouse pad from Best Buy, and then a nice Logitech wireless mouse. I like this one because it's very big, and I like the way that it fits in my hand. Me personally, I'm not a fan of the Apple um, mouses because they're way too low and flat. It kind of hurts my hand. I like these big full ones that fit big in my hand. I'll link it up down below. This right here is a cool creative console where you can link up to like Lightroom and your video editing programs and kind of you know assign things to like exposure or hues or contrast. I haven't used this yet but I got a video coming on that soon. Last but not least, I got this cool little Ikea plant. It just looks cool. And then this headphone holder, which is really dusty, that holds my headphones that I use to edit or work out in or listen to music or all the above. These are my favorite headphones right here. They're Bose and I can't remember which model. So to go down below, click the link and you'll see which one they are. Right here, I got my travel tripod just sitting here in case I need to use it. This is like the lightweight travel tripod that I take everywhere and use for quick setup shots. But this right here is my new favorite thing. This is a little rolling wheel kind of cart with three different bins on it. And I basically keep different stuff like mics, cords, and different types of like gadgets or tools in here, right in this area. Down below on the bottom one, I keep my V-Lock batteries with the charger so I can charge it. And um, this is another set of mics. I need to send this to YC. He wants some wireless mics and I'm gonna just send them to him. And then up here you have the top charging. So I just have a strip in here with chargers to everything. Um, my Canon batteries. I charge up my power bank here. I charge up these big old batteries right here that I use for my monitor and other things. I got my man Frodo tripod for vlogging in here. That should actually be down here. And then right here on the front, I got my Aperture MX light, which you can just cut on and it's got magnets. So that looks cool right here. My son's walkie talkie. Well, this is my walkie talkie. His is in his room and we walkie talkie back and forth. Sometimes when I'm working, I just keep it right here. If I'm like editing all day, he can just hit me up and we can just walkie talkie together. So it's pretty cool. So that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a tour of the office, give you a tour of my desk, show you some of the things on my desk, uh, my charge station, where I shoot my videos at, where I come up with ideas, where I chill at. This is this is it. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, slap the like button for me. Uh, drop me a comment if you have any questions about anything in here or anything. Um, I don't know. Just drop a comment if you have a question. <laughs> Other than that, thanks for watching. I'm glad to have you here. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button because we do tons of cool videos like this and just a lot of other creative stuff as well. So consider hitting subscribe here on the channel and I will see you guys in another video because it's about to stun thunderstorm. I just saw lightning, so I gotta go. <laughs>